yo what is up guys my name is Hussein and in today's video I'm gonna be routing a CTF challenge that is found on tryhack me that is called anonymous so let's get started uh, in map minus a minus sc for scripts minus sv minus vv and the ip address all right the uh, the scan is running but already we can see that we got four ports open as you can see 21 it's uh, for the FTP service. Let's see other ports. It got uh, SSH open and it got SMB open too. So let's just do FTP and the IP address. Let's see. All right. Let's see if we can anonymous login. So let's see. Oh my God. So let's see. Ooh, it got a f uh, directory called scripts ls. All right, let's see, got these three files. So let's get clean.sh, get to underscore do.txt, and get removed underscore files dot log. All right, so let's get the clean.sh. All right, so this script actually seems like it's a cron job. So cron jobs are actually uh, jobs that uh, that schedule some tasks on Unix based systems. So what we can do is actually change this uh, script into a malicious one. All right. And let's see if we can get a reverse shell on this system. All right. So let's just cut out the to do. Let's see. I really need to disable the anonymous. All right. We already logged in is really important. All right. It's actually important because this shows that the script do is actually runs a scheduled task so like i said let's try and modify the script into a reverse shell let's see all right so what i did was i researched for example python reverse shell and i got it so what you could do is research it and try it out so let's change this code into a malicious one by providing an reverse shell code so now let's paste the code. All right, so what we need to modify is our IP address and the port number. I'm just gonna leave the port number to 1234. I really like to use it. And for the IP address, let's do uh, if config is gonna be my VPN IP. All right, so now if we paste it in, control X, yes, enter. So now if we do cat clean.sh, all right, we have our malicious script ready. On this tab, what I'm gonna do is, is start a netcat listener on port 1234. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is FTP back again to our server, anonymous login. All right, so let's do ls, cd scripts, and put clean.sh. And when you do that, it will automatically replace it by the current clean.sh file. So, and as you can see, we got a shell. Let's see, ls, who am I? All right, we're not root yet, all right? So let's cat user.txt. As you can see, we got our first flag. You can go on to try hack me and submit it. As you can see, we already done these. We, we got the user flag. Now let's get the root flag so what we can do is try sudo minus l all right it, it's disabled in the system so now let's search for scd binaries uh, on the system so let's do find um all right minus sperm equal wait equal s then we can do minus type f and to dev slash null let me see if our and we got it right so let's search for sud binaries that can be run by us so let's see all right this is a really interesting one all right so let's see what we can do with it so what we can do is actually go to gitfo bins and uh, let's search for env all right all right so it seems like we have a privilege escalation command so what we can do is just run th this command so what we can do is slash user um bin env and specify our and uh, now if we press enter we will privilege escalate so if we press enter let's see if we get root wait let's see who am i oh we are root right now so if we actually do ls 
uh, cat, let's see, root, root dot txt. As you can see, we got the root on our system. And yeah, that was all about it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed me doing this anonymous room on TryHackMe. And I'm out, guys.